YouTube, what's up, man? I'm back with regs. Actually, you guys told me you liked it, so I hopped on Players Lounge playing $20 games. Probably do this for the next three weeks until Madden 21 is out. Um, if you want to watch me play these games live, hit that Twitch link below. Let me know you're from YouTube if you hop in the Twitch link. I've had tons of you guys come through the Twitch to check it out, man. I've been having a blast just playing regs. A little bit different, a little bit different than Mutt. I got to get more used to it. I'm going to be honest. I'm not that tough at regs, man. I'm not used to what people can cover, who gets open, who does what. And you'll notice that in this game with man covers man i'm not used to it being this good or this effective it's a little bit better in regs and one thing about regs man i'm a football fan so i want to try different teams i want to use different players uh because one thing about regs with the abilities the guys with the abilities are super superstars i know they're good in mutt but man if you get an arm bar running back if you get an escape artist quarterback um it's just super powered and it's fun to use so for this game i'm actually using the tampa bay buccaneers and i'm actually playing against the eagles so don't be confused during the game. I am the Buccaneers. I'm not the Eagles. I know you guys are used to seeing me in Eagles jerseys. I'm going to use the Buccaneers this game. Uh, and it's a great game. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, the reason I like the Buccaneers, um, they have the two wide receivers that are really good. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. You guys know I like to run a little trade wide flex. So mix those guys up. Get them the ball. Jameis got the big arm. Not the most accurate, but he's going to get it on defensively not that tough you know not that tough defensively Shaquille Barrett's pretty good um Levante Davis a great one blah, blah, linebacker Devin White 92 speed and regs is absolutely geeked at linebacker so let's go ahead into this game let's see how I handle this regs action with the Tampa Bay Bucks. like I told you guys I'm playing with the Buccaneers against the Eagles but I like the Buccaneers, man. They have Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and they have two fast guys, Rashad Perriman and Scotty Miller. And Chris Godwin's going to go ahead and drop this first pass. I mean, not for my superstar wide receivers. Not what I expect. But we're going to go back to him. We trust him. This time, we're going to go with the possession catch. Hold on to the ball. I would say Evans and Godwin are the number one duo in the NFL right now. Are they the number one duo? Uh, let me know who you guys think could be a better duo than Godwin and Evans as I dump the ball off to Scotty Miller right here first big third down he's going to go to a blitz look right here and actually lurk me with malcolm jenkins the things about malcolm bro he's slow as dirt so scotty miller with that 95 speed picks him off so definitely got lurked by 86 speed safety not a good look but good play by him man that, that was the first time he went to a blitz, blitz look out of that three four <sighs> should have caught a pick six there but we don't get the pick third and goal we're going, he's going to go ahead and find Zach Ertz in the back of the end zone. Touchdown. Goes up 7-0. Zach Ertz, that's what he does. Catches touchdowns. But we'll go back to that. He went to 3-4. Expected a blitz. So we'll see if he continues to do that throughout the rest of the game. He's running just a lot of man coverage right there. Mike Evans, you're not going to man him up. That's why I love this team, man. And little run Ronald Jones right here. 93 speed running back. Always good to have a running back. That's a game breaker. That's what Ronald Jones is with that 93 speed. Uh, once again, just a little bit of man coverage. Godwin's going to beat that. I'm a possession catch. Not get greedy and try to get extra yards. Um, with rushing four, we got to contain Fletcher Cox. That's the biggest deal. Jameis doesn't have super wheels, but he can get it done. Two to three yard line into the second quarter, and we just we can't run. We get shedded right there for a tackle in the backfield. Run again. Boom, right here. Now, this play, I'm sorry. I'm apologizing in advance. I was just chucking this ball to Mike Evans. I had to see Regs. I had to see what he could do. Uh, and this guy was kind of hip because he used with Mike Evans the whole way. So I throw a pick right there. That was, I, I had to see what Mike Evans can do in regs. Um, bad pick, you know, got to overcome it. The one thing about regs, man, four minute quarters and these 40 second play clocks, these games are going to fly by. So it's not that wise giving up a possession, but I had to see what Mike Evans had for me in the red zone. So we got, what, two interceptions right now. He lurked me twice. Once on a blitz, the other one just, Mike Evans, he just mossed Mike Evans pretty much. Um, but we got to play a little defense. We get to a fourth in inches right here. He's running this split close, um, split close audible down. You guys must be, you know, familiar with this. So I'm going to play all out. I'm going to try to stop the run right here and boom, just nobody sheds. The Eagles have a great offensive line. That's the one thing they have. If you're going to run the ball once again here, this time we actually get some bodies around the football and make a play. We're closing in and at the end of the second quarter here hits this little whip route. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I first looked, the Buccaneers looked like they had some speed on the defensive side of the ball, but he throws it up right here, mosses me, and falls down. I don't know why he fell down right there, but definitely just highballed me. Tries to highball me again. Devin White cannot come up with the pick right there. Now, there's been a lot of discussion as he rolls out right here. Boom. 
and I'm going to make a play. Come off the ball, Devin White picked off right there. There's been a lot of discussion on the user lately. If you guys watch my podcast, we talked about it a lot. As After playing this game, man, as I... Before the half, end of half, you got to chuck it up to Mike Evans, right? Doesn't come down with it. But there's been a lot of discussion on the user. And at the point right, I think the user is really good on Madden 20. Not the lurker 99 speed Taylor Mays that we're used to playing against on Mutt. But the regular linebacker lurker from Madden 20. As he, special teams, let me tell you, the players on special teams aren't that fast. But I think the I think the linebacker lurk in Madden 20 is really good. I, I don't know how somebody can play this game and complain about the lurk and it's too good. I think it's really well balanced. Um, right here, he's going to go ahead and have all day and actually hit Boston Scott out of the backfield for a big play. Gets inside field goal range. We got to get this ball back, man. It's the second half. I'm down by seven. Um, as he hits this slant right here to Aguilar and stops on me. Gets in front of Devin White. Ooh. Who is that corner could not stay with the slant from Aguilar and he he's gotten to the end zone was too elusive in the open field another good play by him I'm down by 14 with James Winston at the helm we're in Tampa Bay right now so uh, we're gonna have to step up and get some points on the board you can't come back if you don't get points on the board another little in route to God when that time he got cracked I mean I'm not mad at him for dropping that one <laughs> Brandon Graham cracked me good play this time, he's not going to drop this one because we're going up top. Jameis drop it in a bucket over the top. Deep post touchdown. Baja. 14-7. Feeling good. Uh, there are six minutes left in this game. Plenty of time to fight. Um, I, I, you ever play somebody for like, you know, I, I got this guy. You know, you feel confident. Even though you're losing, you feel confident. That's how I feel right now. I feel good. Um, this time all day again and Shaquille Barrett actually gets through gets the sack my superstar on defense we got him to a second and 27 that's the way to go Shaquille Barrett screams again gets cut blocked all types of commotion rolls out tries to hit Jackson but oh a bad throw from Carson Wentz right there third and 27 we're going to play safe going to play the sticks back everybody up and that's going to allow him to dump the ball off here to get Dallas Goddard I miss a hit stick get juked he picks up 17 yards Four in no huddles. Fourth and ten. I'm I'm feeling great. I'm feeling fine. I'm gonna play coverage again. I feel like nothing's gonna get open. It's just cover three. I put my outside corner in a quarter so he does not press Deshaun Jackson. These guys have 93 speed on the outside. I feel safe, and he's gonna try him going up top, and he burns me with the jack. Deshaun Jackson. I know I'm playing against them, but there's an argument. Obviously, Moss is probably number one. But best deep threat ever, Deshaun Jackson is up there. Let me know if you agree or disagree. He's, I can't put him over Moss, but all time he's got to be up there as I hit this little running back option route. You guys are struggling with man coverage, man. The running back option route cooks man coverage. It does. It really does very well. Right there, Chris Godwin again that time on the crossing route out of Dagger. We're moving the ball fine. We're down by 14. Ugh. That time he actually blitzed, tried to dump the ball off. Scotty Miller drops it. Second and 10. We're going to try to dump it off again, but big. Well, who gets me that time? Nigel Bradham. Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox were killing me this game. Step up right there. Chris Godwin again just eating. Uh, 8 for 14, Jameis Winston is. I looked for a streak right here, uh, but he covered Mike Evans pretty well. I dumped it off, and we, we don't get the first down right there. But we're closing in on a touchdown is what we need to continue this. That's that running back option route back out of the backfield. Boom. Hit Ronald Jones. Pick up some yards. Down by 14. Three minutes left. We're going to go ahead and hit this curl route. Chris Godwin end zone touchdown. So we're down by seven. We're good. There's three minutes left. 40 second play clock's going to make this tough. Got to stop the run here. And we do on the first play. Boom. The other thing that sucks with the Buccaneers, their safety position is terrible. Hits the whip route right here to Aguilar. Great play by him. First down, I'm going to call a timeout. Got to extend the game now. Got to give myself hope. Right here, we put a flat zone over there, so he can't do that again. And we get the huge sack. Vita Vea, you guys play Mutt. You know about Big Vita. He runs the ball again. We're going to make a play. Get him to third and long right here. He's going to go for the streak, but boom, that's me with Levante David picking that off. Covered it. Try to buy high. Oh, nice tackle by Darren Sproles. We got the ball back. We're in action. We're down by seven. The regs clock is crazy. There's not a lot of time left in this game. I had to in route. Didn't like it. We're going to stand in the pocket. He only rushes two, but Brandon Graham gets home, tackles the quarterback. Boom, second and 13. The time is, is rushing. We're close to under a minute. Go for this slant, but boom. Avante Maddox all over. Third and 13. Got to make a play right here. He was playing the game. We're going to hit this in round. Boom, Chris Godwin, just like that. 
and we're going to go ahead next play clock is running looking for mike evans nowhere to go and we get sacked again got to use my timeout there's 40 seconds left no time one o'clock second and 14 we're going to step up right here too far and actually try to throw to mike evans but we spin fumble and he calls timeout biggest mistake ever don't know why he called timeout right there looking for the out route to mike evans and Jameis throws it to the ground tried to low ball there now this play i'm going back to the same thing i'm assuming he's going to cover it so i'll put perriman on a curl in case he takes the his user all the way to the left but i mean i gotta be prepared to throw to mike evans again i want to go to my big money player here fourth and 12 on a 15 yard line no timeouts left he leaves him again this time Jameis dots it low ball boom first down i'm going to spike right here boom now, I want to talk about this play. I want to talk about this play in particular, this situation, help you guys get better. Now, I'm on the inch line. There's 13 seconds left of the game. I have no timeouts. If I get tackled and bounds, the game is over. So running the ball, obviously, I'm so close to the goal line. Quarterback sneak, you might think fullback dive for sure. Uh, and I'm only going to run the ball if it's guaranteed to be the last play of the game. Three seconds left, two seconds left. If I still have 13 seconds, which I do, then I'm going to go ahead and try some pass plays because one, I can I can have a chance of scoring, but also a chance of running another play. So if I run two pass plays here and then run on fourth down. So if I come out in a run and I have no timeouts, I will never run the ball unless it's guaranteed to be the last play of the game. I'm going to give myself three chances right here. So 13 seconds, I feel like I can get two pass plays off if they're incomplete. Then I mean, then I get to fourth down and I could run. I probably would run on fourth down just all in aggressive aggressive and try to fullback dive or, or halfback dive or something along that nature right up the gut but since i have two plays i want to use those three plays now this game i'll be honest i needed to see mike evans again i'm just going to put him on a fade and we're going to see what happens told you i'm not going to mess around and he's going to come out here put mike evans on a fade because we're going to th throw it up no matter what he actually run commits because he didn't think about what i just told you guys he thought i might run i'm in i big i gotta send the dogs and run commit but no i'm definitely passing first play and i'll be honest i don't care if he had a hundred people on big mike right there he was getting the football we're gonna see what happens it happened earlier picked it off that time he ran commit thinking i'd run the ball but no definitely passing there on for on uh when i have an opportunity to, to really fit some plays in so we tie the game up 21 21 and we're gonna go to ot absolute slobber knocker in tampa bay and I, I win the coin toss always good when you win the coin toss man you feel confident I feel like i moved the ball pretty well man i got lurked one time he hasn't gone back to that blitz look yet but also do a pick on mike evans other than that i've scored touchdowns i feel good i had the offensive firepower famous Jameis is working the ball down the field we're feeling good we're blocking fletcher cox we're stepping up in the pocket Right here, we look for mm, the crossing route, but we get sacked by Brandon Graham. Absolutely terrorizing me right now. Uh, next play, we're going to dump it off to Ronald Jones. Get that first down on an option route. I told you guys, it's a really effective route when people run man coverage. Not too many linebackers can match up with these running backs uh, to, in the open field. That's why the option route is so good. Right here, we get to a second and three. We're going to look to try to hit Godwin. Now, he's user in wild places. Now, I actually get sacked right there. He's kind of like usering a receiver on his, on his own. Uh, third and 13, we're going to go ahead and hit this crossing route. Big Mike comes up with a huge play again. Malcolm Jenkins a little too slow right there. Uh, and we're in the field goal range to take the lead in the game. Second and 10, we're going to step back. Fletcher Cox gets blocked. I'm going to left trigger so I can't throw the ball away. Famous Jameis just too slow. Third and 26, got to get back in the field goal range. We're going to hit 95 speed. Scotty Miller on a slant. Take it to the line. Malcolm Jenkins, huge play. Get me to fourth down. You know what? Some people could kick. Some people could just take the lead and be cool with that. But I'll be honest, that is not why they watch. Got to drop your nuts right here. Got to go for it. Now, he came out in 3-4, but he called timeout. So maybe he didn't like it. I'm going to go for it again. I'm, I'm, You know, I feel good. Inches right here. I, I rarely will ever run the ball here. It's just so reliant on the game. I can make the right read. Now, he's in 3-4. Now, I'm thinking he might blitz me again. So I'm going to go Mike Evans on a streak, which was open last time he blitzed, if you guys remember. And I go hitch and out route, but he's on the corner. So I can't really bait and throw one of those guys and Fletcher Cox gets me. Did not expect him to be on the corner over there lurking on the corner. Such a scum tactic that worked for him. He covered both my out route and my hitch. 
where if it was a blitz, I would be able to make a read right there or a computer player. That's why the user is so good because it's unpredictable. I couldn't throw at him. But looking back, I should have thrown at somebody right there rather than get socked, sacked, but Fletcher Cox got me. But we got to hold him out of field goal range. The Eagles have like a 97 kick power Jake Elliott, so it's going to be tough as he throws a streak up. Need that interception right there. Uh, knock the ball away. We get to a third and 10, and he's going to roll out corner route Zach Ertz field goal range. Pretty much GG's. But with the ice, it's tough to kick a field goal. So he's going to try to pass right here. Uh, I would have kicked the field goal right away. But boom, he gets the sack from Indama Kong Su. Second and 21, he's going to go to the run. And Lane Johnson, if you want to watch that back, he just flattened two people with nasty streak. Uh, this is when he runs to the right behind Brandon Brooks, Kelsey, and Lane Johnson. And they are mauling the Tampa Bay Buccaneers right here. And that one's going to end the game. There it is, man. GG's in the comments was a great game. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Even so, it was such a good game that we rematched right after this for another 20 bucks, man. Check out Players Lounge if you want to play. But if you want me to drop the rematch and find out what team I used in the next game, get this video to 500 likes. Hope you guys are enjoying the regs action, man. I'm going to keep uploading it until Madden 21.